Oh god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm the one being interviewed. Oh. All right, here we go. What's happening? Ready? I'm Jessica Purdy. Meh. <laughs> I can't do one takes. I hate. <laughs> Help me. Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest. I'm down here in Texas and I am visiting my very good friend, my very beautiful friend and fellow Platinum Premier, Sinead Arby. Hello. I have some interview questions here that I'm going to ask her and we're going to get right into it. And then if you want to see my interview, head over to Sinead's channel and I'm gonna link that down in the description box below. So make sure you head over there and give her a subscribe and like because she has awesome content, you guys. Seriously. Thank you. Good training videos, so check, check them out. Now that I've told them to go check you out, let's tell them about you. When did you join Posh and why? So I actually joined Posh right away, day one. I heard about it like right right before it started and at the time I was home with my little boys. Um, two of them had neurological disorders, they were in therapy. I think my husband was like, you should join, you should join. And he finally convinced me by saying, What's the worst that could happen? You get a whole bunch of products that are going to be awesome. And so I was like, okay. So you are an OG Pasha. I'm an OG. That is awesome. Day one. That is very cool. Um, what's your favorite part about your business? It's kind of twofold, right? I love, love, love the women that I work with. I absolutely love um, my day to day, but I also love the opportunities that has given my family. Um, you know, but last year we traveled for almost a year. We took our boys um, to 43 different states, and that That's is awesome. totally funded by Posh. So it's created amazing opportunities for my family. That is so cool. On the counter side, what's the hardest part? I call it the problem of people, and everybody has it, right? Like making sure that I'm always keeping my business in front of people, and that just that discipline to really keep at it, especially because I have been doing it for so long. Right, because working from home is awesome. You have flexibility, but... You also don't have anyone telling you what to do. <laughs> it's true, it's a true story. What's one thing that your business has taught you about yourself? So this business did not come like second nature to me. I'm a pragmatic person. I used to be a high school teacher. <laughs> and so the thing that it has taught me is I can learn every skill that I need to be successful. And that's one of the huge reasons that I always tell people like, if I can do this, you can do this. Oh, you don't know how to make a graphic? Learn. Oh, you don't know how to do a video? You can learn all of the things you need to to be successful. And I never thought I could. All right, well, we're gonna get a little personal up in here. Tell me about the money. The money has been life-changing. It took me a long time to really cultivate those skills and really become a leader and, and a true owner of my business. So it took me about five years to hit my first five-figure monthly paycheck. And wait, I'm sorry, did you say five figures in one month? Absolutely. And that really is life-changing, especially when you go from a teacher salary, right, to that kind of money has totally changed my family and given us, like I said earlier, so many opportunities. When you joined, did you ever think that was going to be possible? Did you ever think you would be where you are right now? I, it's kind of a different answer than yours was when I interviewed her on my channel, mm -hmm. but I actually thought like everybody else does, when you join at the beginning, it just happens, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I joined right away, so I was like, I got it made in the shade. And it took me a while to realize like, wow, like this is really a business I have to work and I have to learn these things. So yes, I thought there was a chance that joining right away was just gonna shoot me straight to the top, no questions asked. Um, but once I started looking at it, I felt very overwhelmed and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So it's kind of a twofold answer, I guess. Yes, I was kind of like, mm, well, I joined in the beginning, NBD. But, you know, there are people who joined before me that are not here now. And so it's just interesting. I was, I'm glad I was able to take that step back and be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to really have to work this and learn how to do this business. So That is awesome. Just for funsies, tell the people, what is your consultant number? I am consultant number 99 and I think it's a 
cool number. A, I was like in the first hundred, obviously, but that's also what I've taken um, as my name on social media everywhere, 99 Posh Me, because it's 99 to join. It's, you know, I'm the that. 99th consultant, so. That's awesome. But just to give you guys a frame of reference, so we are the same level. We're both platinum premieres, and we both have made life-changing money. Her a little bit more than me, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> But she's consultant number 99. I'm consultant number 16,210. Yeah, and you That is incredible. It is, it is incredible. And it just shows everybody's different journey because you promoted to the top level before I did. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody's path is different. And that's another thing that I have learned a lot about is just being able to be so happy for other people's success and still working, just chipping away at my goals and being disciplined enough to you know, stand up and applaud yeah. the wonderful, amazing women who hit before me when they came so much later, but then still just being able to invest the energy back into my business. Yeah. Very introspective. Thank you. I know I have a ton of posh memories and I've been to a lot of events, but if you had to pick one favorite moment, could you? Yeah. I mean, of course, all of the travel is Amazing. I have loved doing that, but I can tell you one of the most transformative moments is also one of my favorites and it was actually at a leadership event in San Diego and um, The CEO is just talking about how like your business you need to own it all of it like the good the bad um, And so at first that made me feel like really bad Because you know people like you were getting ahead of me and I was like, oh my gosh I'm not sure how I feel about this but then I also had to turn that around and be like, well, look what I have accomplished. And especially once I had looked at my business and been like, oh, this is overwhelming to see how far I had come. I have to own that too. Mm -hmm. So we have to own it, you know, the mistakes we make, but we also have to own, you know, the being disciplined enough to keep going and, you know, all the new things that we're trying. So that was a very transformative moment for me. Yeah. And also just applying that to my life in general, like, saying, oh, I've made these mistakes, but then also look at all these amazing things I've done. Yeah, that's that's a really great way to look at things. That is a good moment. <laughs> you wish, you wish. What is one thing you wish you wish? <laughs> oh, I totally wrote that. It's a mistake I own. <laughs> all right, um, tell me, what is one thing you wish that people knew about like our type of business? I think that you kind of said the same thing. It's just that it's possible. <laughs> I mean, like I said, at first I came right out of the gate and I'm like, okay, why isn't everything just happening right away? Um, but then once I really sat down and looked at everything, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. But, you know, as I started off and like paid for our groceries, that was life changing. And then as I, was, I was able to pay for our groceries and kid lessons, you know, then I was able to pay our mortgage and then I was able to, you know, pay for our trip. It's just, we are more financially secure than... I ever thought possible and I'm gonna go off on a tangent right now please but I tell I always tell people like there three and a half years ago I remember just laying in bed and listening to our conditioning unit outside of our bedroom because it was like clunk 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 and I remember just being so scared that like if that thing goes out we do not have the money but now I'm able to have that security in life and it is just so transformative. I mean, money isn't everything, no. but laying awake at night, worried about my air conditioning unit, yeah. you know, to where we are now, where we were able to put so much down on a home. It's just been absolutely amazing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, like I have three kids, you know, so yeah. it's, it's been life changing. So what's next for you? I am excited about some changes coming up with Posh. And of course, always what's next for me is bringing new women into the business and helping them see what is possible for them and wherever they are, whatever they want to do. I just love to be like, let's make that happen for you. So, so if there's somebody out there watching and they're just like, Oh my goodness, Shanae is my soul sister. How can they find you? You can find me on all social media as 99 Pashmi. I also have a blog 99 Pashmi.com. Um, my YouTube channel also links to videos of our travel last year. Um, awesome. We called it Cotty Wample Family Playlist. So if people want to check that out and see all the craziness it was, they can do that too. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun. I feel like I've learned more about you just answering our questions that we pre-wrote out together. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you guys enjoyed learning more about Shanae. And uh, be sure you head over to her channel and check out my interview.
Thank you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Well, thank you for coming. Now, let's go hit up TJ Maxx. Woo! Bye, guys.